Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to create a sub report and then call that report in the master report by using sub report item. We have already created a a uh, drill through report and if you guys remember in drill through when we click on something it will take us to the other report but in sub report what happened we create some master report and then call different reports in that master report so we will still stay in the master report always but we will see the data or we use those reports which we have created separate so let me take you to the SSMS SQL Server Management Studio and show you some data so what we have here, uh, we have a total sale table and what we want to do, we want to create a report uh, that can accept uh, the region uh, uh, as a parameter. And then what we will do, we will create uh, that master report uh, and call that uh, detail report uh, there. And uh, I have one summary report, uh, I will use that one uh, uh, to show you how you can call other reports uh, that even don't use uh, the parameters. Uh. So let's go ahead and create uh, our detailed report first uh, or su uh, sub report whatever you call. Uh. So go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools uh, and uh, here we are in the SSRS project. Uh, first of all we need uh, a shared data source or embedded data source. Uh, in our case we are using shared uh, and uh, we can see that it is pointing to the sales uh, database. Uh, if you are creating uh, reports from the same database uh, why not to use the shared. So embedded will be specific or limited to the report and shared will be used uh, or can be used across multiple reports. Uh, now go to the reports uh, right click here add and a new item. Let's uh, click on the report, it will create empty report. Uh, now give some name to it and that in this case I'm going to call this one sub and uh, say detail. So that's what I will call this report add. Once uh, the empty report is created, uh, here we see data sources. Uh, right click here and then uh, create embedded data source uh, that scope is limited to the report uh, or use the shared data source uh, reference. Uh, in our case we are going to use uh, the shared data source reference. Uh, so I'm going to call this one DS sales. Uh, Let's use the sales uh, share data source here. Hit OK. Next, uh, we need to create a data set. Uh, data set is a result set or record set returned by the query or a store procedure or function. So here we call this one D set total sale. And go, go ahead and use the embedded one because this is a specific uh, for this report uh, and we don't need to use this one in other reports. So we are going to make this one embedded. That's all we need. And to create a parameter, you guys know that we use where clause and then use the field that we need to use as a uh, for the parameter. So here is the region that we want to have as a parameter. So I'm going to copy this one and just paste it there. Where region equal to at the rate region name. You can name anything that you like for your parameter. So no big deal. You can call it region, region name, my region, whatever, or region parameter. Hit OK. Now we are good here. Next part we need to bring a, a, ta a table where we can bring the fields. So right click and bring the table here. Let's bring first name, last name and uh, items or products sold and some maybe items sold. Uh, and the, the last thing I would like to bring a region. Why I'm bringing the region? Because I'm going to create this report and uh, I will be using this report in the main report uh, I would like to see if the region is coming correct uh, for uh, for those uh, values um, so let's go ahead and uh, maybe give some space make this report a little better so we can see at least our report is looking good bold background so let's go green uh, we are all good here and now you can see that uh, forget about these warnings these are coming from other reports uh, so I will fix them I really don't need to so here we have a region name parameter. Once I provide the value, it is uh, returning me results uh, for that uh, region. So let's go back and design. This is too big. So let's make this one a little small, the width of this one. And also for this one, let's make this one so it will look better. And uh, that's it. Let me take this one down so you don't see these warnings. And we can provide any value here and uh, it will return us uh, the results. Uh, according to that uh, region. So now our sub report is ready. What we want to do? 
I want to save this one and I want to show one of the summary report I have created so if you guys want to go ahead and watch the video there is a video for this one how to create a group rep uh, group uh, report where we have used the group by so that's the report we are using here so let's say with the preview we see a report that has region that has item sold and total sold price so this is our summary report right now there are two reports so we have one is sub report that accept the parameter and here we have summary what we want to do we want to create another report that will show a summary report and then show us the detail but it one we want to have the detail for each of the region so in this case if you run this one each time it is accepting one parameter and showing us that results we want to repeat this report but with a different parameter each time and uh, that's how we want to use it as a sub report so let me take uh, to the new report again so let's go to the reports add and we call this one main report or master report whatever you called let's call this one master sale this will give us a summary this will give us a detail as well and we will be able to use those uh, existing reports so now go to data sources, add data source and here we will be using a shared data source and let's call this one DS sales. Now let's go ahead and create a data set. We can use the same query what we have used already but we do not need all of the columns. I only need a region but depending on your situation maybe you would need more columns. So sale total and here let's bring all those column I don't recommend bringing everything from the SQL server table or all the records if you don't need those column why you bring it but anyways for this one we can call this one as we only need the region I'm gonna uh, bring the region let's say use the best practices we don't need to use all of those columns so select region from table it is only returning us the regions I hit OK and uh, here let's go ahead and insert a matrix report we can insert a, a table report matrix report list whatever we would like so there are different videos I have made I, I recommend watching those videos and uh, li uh, learn how to create the list uh, report uh, how to use uh, the table and all and create the group buys and everything so let's uh, use the matrix this time in the matrix what I want I want the regions here now once I have the region here, what I want on the, in front of each of the region, I want the detail. And if you guys remember, we have created a sub detail report that can return us that value. But here in master, we have only the, these regions are available. If we pass these values to that parameter, then we can get the detail right here. So that, that can work for us. Now what we need to do here, right click here and then go to the insert and say sub report you can go to the view and then we go toolbox and in the toolbox we have a sub report as well so you can drag from here or you right click and get the sub report now once we have the sub report here what we want to do we want to pass the value of a region for that parameter now right click here and then go to sub uh, report properties and here first of all we have to tell if you want to give some name that's fine uh, for this uh, sub report uh, item you can give it and uh, if you don't want to do it is fine uh, let's go ahead and use the report so here we need to use a sub detail so that report we have to provide when uh, you will be deploying this report this report has to be on this on the report server as well to run the master report so you have to deploy both of the reports let's go to visibility we want to see the report all the time we don't want to we don't want to hide it and uh, we don't want to write expression to hide this report let's go to parameters add parameter and here we see the region name parameter that's coming from sub report and uh, now here is the column we the only column we have used in this uh, uh, matrix uh, and uh, that's a uh, region and uh, in our data set actually we have only one column if we would have more columns we will be seeing all of them but we want to use uh, the region hit okay now and let's see the report so you guys can see this is how our report is uh, looking like so we have asia region here and then asia is passed to the sub report and we see the 
uh, records or details for that Asia. So that's how you can do it and for Europe and uh, North America. One thing uh, it is kind of really uh, doesn't have those uh, borders and everything we can go ahead and adjust that and uh, also we can give the name here we can call this one a uh, detail report uh, here. Let's click here make it center and then uh, also bold and uh, give some color so make this better and go to report uh, sub report properties uh, and then in the properties uh, you can go to border and uh, we can choose the border the way we like so we are good here and also here uh, you can go to the properties text box properties uh, and we have a border here as well and we can select the border and uh, this will be selected let's say if you want to remove it or you want to have it you can click outline it will bring it now if we see the report uh, it will be looking much uh, better so you can also go ahead and change the colors uh, if you like here maybe different color and uh, here you want a different color and uh, that's how you can see that in my case what I did I, I, I did uh, kind of groups on the rows and then uh, have the sub report here you can go ahead and create the groups uh, on the column and uh, then have the sub report uh, as well so in that case uh, you will see let's say if you have another matrix here insert a matrix here and now let's make this one a little bigger now on columns uh, we will bring that column let's say click here sorry I'm s just a uh, region and now if you run this one uh, you can see the columns uh, let me show you here so you can go ahead and put the these report here as well so it's your choice the way you want to do it there are multiple ways uh, to create that but the goal is okay you can use the sub report item here and pass the values uh, of parameter from uh, here and then see that uh, and that report will repeat for you so this is it next part what we want to do here on top of that we want to create that uh, main report or use the summary report so let me right click here insert and go to the sub report and you see that sub report part is here if you guys notice this this part sub report item is coming small and big but there is no impact if you will try to adjust this one this there is no uh, impact on the actual report size so let me show you what happened now right click here sub report properties and select the report so in our case it is summary report now let's find summary report uh, that's called the summary report and right here and now we don't have any parameter or anything so we are all good and hit ok now preview the report and you will see summary report is here this one is uh, on this side so let's uh, move them a little bit let's say we move them here and also move this one here so we can see that and uh, let's preview the report and uh, now the, the report is coming much better if you see that there is a, a lot of space here what happened if we go to the sub report and fix the sub report size that's uh, what it is going to show so if I make this one small and also this one small you will see a big impact uh, so let's keep this one all the way wherever it need to be and uh, remove this uh, extra space uh, save it now we go to the master detail uh, and uh, if we preview it uh, you guys will see a major difference uh, so now you see how the report is compact uh, as compared to the previous report uh, and uh, also you can go ahead and uh, if you like to put uh, um, you can move this one little up uh, if you want to write something header or all that uh, you can write a, a text box uh, here and insert a text box and say okay my uh, my master sale report let's make this one a little bigger so you can uh, make this report a little fancy and uh, we bold it color this time I'm not gonna go green I'm gonna go different color orange maybe and uh, we preview the report uh, here uh, also we can do one more thing we can go ahead and insert a line so here if you insert a line you can put a line between them Th these are all the fancy things I'm sure you will be able to do it by yourself I don't wanna take forever here and uh, um, show you like how to put a line how to put a rectangle these are all those different items available and uh, according to your choice uh, you can make your report fancy and uh, see the uh, line is here you can go ahead and increase the width length of this line if you want so and also remove this part on this side give some space whatever we don't need extra spaces uh, we can remove them and that's how you will be 
uh, creating your sub uh, master report with the sub reporter so you see that we can use a, a static report so we can use chart report so whatever we want to do in the sub report you will be only making the link uh, you're telling okay this is the report i need to use and this is not a drill uh, dr drill through report so it is showing everything uh, in one place so this report is actually is, is part of a drill through that's we made it and if we, here we use it we can also go to other report so even that part will work so if you're one of the report is having drill through capabilities you can call that report as a sub report in another report and it will have the same functionality what it was designed with them so that's how you will be creating your sub uh, master report with sub reports so thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in next video